Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we're going to be testing out Becca's new Hydra Mist setting powder. I'm just going to cut it short <laughs> and just say that. This setting powder just came out recently and I was super excited to try it because this one's a little bit different than a lot of setting powders that we have seen in the past. So you know me and this is try it out. I said, well, I have to try this one. So that's what we're going to do today. Without further ado, let's get started. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, so let's get started on talking about this new powder. So this is Becca's new Hydra Mist and Set Refresh Powder. Now, what really intrigued me, because honestly, I've tried so many setting powders and I'm still in the process of finding so many more. Like, I love a good setting powder. That's just me. So one thing about this powder that really made me be like, dang, like, let me try this one, was because this powder has 50% of water in it. Now just reading a little bit about it, this is supposed to be an ultra translucent refreshing powder that dusts on like a mist and sets makeup to help extend weight. It says that it has a silky smooth invisible finish and it says the powder is supposed to make your skin look awake. Now this powder runs you about $38 which is not crazy because I think the Laura Mercier powder is like $39. Now just looking from the back of it, one thing that I can say just from looking at it that I like about it is that it's not a white powder. Typically white powders, it depends on who the powder is by, sometimes they don't go well with deep skin. So the fact that this is pink, I've seen some brands do this. I think I reviewed the Too Faced one where it was a little bit like a pink, a light pink color and when it went onto the skin it just kind of blended in perfectly. And with this powder, I hope that one that this powder like just kind of like seeps into my skin, especially after I set it but that I don't have any of like that ashy look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way up to this. I apply my makeup as a regular with you guys here and then I'm going to wear this for a few hours. I feel like that this type of setting powder just needs to be worn for at least two hours to really see if it's good or not because ultimately that's what we want in our setting powders. We want our setting powders to keep us looking matte for a long time. So if this can do that for me, I'm like woo because if you have been watching me here, you know that I have oily combination skin. So I get really oily in my T-zone, my nose area. That's where the oil starts to hit at. The fact that this being ultra translucent, it already tells me that it's going to seep into my skin really well, but it really doesn't tell me if it's going to hold up. So we have to try this and we have to see what it's all about. I'm going to go ahead and call this powder the water powder because the majority of its ingredients is water. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation first. Get that all lathered onto the skin. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using Odie but a goodie. This is the Mega Forever HD stick. I actually haven't used this in a while, so very 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 excited about using it sometimes i forget that it's a stick foundation and i don't need to apply that much i start applying it like i would be applying my uh liquid foundations and you just don't really need that much by the way if you like my eye look i created this entire look with the model renaissance palette by anastasia beverly hills i feel like i've created this look before I got into the point where I really like it. You know how like you've created a look multiple times, but you're just like, ah, uh, it's okay. This time I feel like I get it like, oh, like I really like how it turned out. I'm really impressed on how I like did the cut crease and stuff. So. And also I'm using my e.l.f. brush to like blend all of this in. All right, so now that we've applied foundation, we're gonna go right in with our concealer. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. This concealer has seriously become one of my favorites. It, just really gets those bags and makes them disappear. I'm just gonna go in now and blend this out. Okay, so now we're to the part where I typically apply my powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. And it says keep close to keep it cool. Hmm, okay cute so this is different this is really different instead of it coming with like the regular sifter that it comes with it actually comes with like a thinner one i don't know if you can see it where like it's very fine so i and it's like a little cloth instead of it being like just the hard plastic it's a cloth sifter that it's going to come through i guess this reassures you that the powders that when they come out of this net they're going to be ultra fine so that's pretty good because a lot of times powders say that they're fine and all that type of stuff, but they really don't ever be. I'm going to tap a little bit in the cap so that I can have it there. And we're just going to go and start setting this at the places where I typically set my face. You see these little specks? I don't know if it's like 
it's not reacting good with the makeup I already have on my face. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I do see it as I'm setting those little specks. Okay, so now that I've set my face, I am starting to see a little bit of cat. Honestly, I just think that it'll go away once I set it with a setting spray. It's not like really bad, so I'm not going to complain about it yet. I'm going to keep going though and doing the rest of my makeup so that we can really see how this looks. Now, I know I said that I dipped the powder in the cap. When I was doing my makeup, I accidentally forgot and just kind of dipped it in here. And it kind of gives you product. That way like I guess because the, the cloth is like really bouncy so you can get to the product real fast instead of like shaking it out and potentially wasting product you can just kind of like do this and get the product that you need off the sponge which is probably better and it saves you so much money because I know so many times I wasted so much product with dipping into the cap and the cap spills or when I flip the cap back over it pours out that's definitely a good thing that they added that little cloth sifter. So while that's settling into my face, I'm just going to take my powder and I'm going to use contour or bronze, whatever you want to call it, out my face really quickly. I'm going to take a little bit more of that powder and we're going to clean up under my jawline. It's so thin and so light, like you honestly like really have to use a lot kind of to really know that it's there and working. Because it goes on so light on the face. I'm going to now go in and take some powder and remove all this. I'm going to be taking my deep dark max mineralized skin finish. And I'm just going to work this powder into my skin while erasing the excess powder that I used to clean up that contour line with. I'm going to go in and apply some highlighter. I'm going to go in and take my Amorizi highlighter. Now we're just going to go in and finish it up with some CoverGirl setting spray just to finish it off. Okay, so this is pretty much my makeup look for today. If you're wondering what lip I added, I used the Urban Decay 1993 lipstick. As you can see, it looks pretty good on the skin. I don't have any complaints with it right now. Like I said before in the beginning, I want to go test this out and I want to see like how long does it keep me looking matte. I'm going outside to take some pictures, so this will be like do or die like you will really know if it works because it's hot outside and when i come back i'm just gonna sit here you guys can judge me <laughs> so i'll see you guys in a bit and we will talk more about this powder all right guys so we are back it is now 9 32 at night i forgot to do this before i left i was supposed to show you guys what time it was when i actually left so you guys can like count the hours with me but I forgot and I didn't realize till like two hours after and I was like oh doesn't even make any sense to do now but I started wearing this around three something and now it's nine something so it's about like six hours with it on more time than I keep makeup on nowadays like you can catch me about like three hours of wearing makeup and I'm ready to take it off but look at this setting powder my oils are still absorbed guys this is honestly a no lie really surprising to me because I tested so many setting powders in the past if you've been watching me, you know that I've tested so, so many. And by this time, I am oily in this area. I don't know what's going on today, but today I'm still looking mad. My makeup, for the most part, my face makeup is still looking bomb. I am just like, wow. I didn't expect that. When I first started putting it on, it went on pretty well, but it was like little specks that kept coming. I don't know if it was something in the sponge or something that was making it clump. It had those little powder clumps, but it wasn't anything big. It was just like little clumps and I couldn't understand really why they were doing that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not even that really big of a deal. Just to see the outcome and how actually long it lasted on my face. For sure, going to keep this around and use it some more because I want to see like different days here in Houston the weather changes up so much so I really want to kind of like keep it around and play with it some more and see how it'll react on a really 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 hot day so yeah I'm definitely interested in this new setting powder for sure now going back to how I was saying it was looking a little ashy I think that was just it kind of just selling to my skin my other setting powders kind of do that as well so it's not really surprising some of them give too much of a powdery effect and the powdery effect just doesn't go away until I like set it with my finishing spray this one didn't really have that it gave like a light ash in my opinion but then after I set it it looked perfectly fine so I just think that was kind of like a me thing and you probably can't even see it but I did in the, the day it wasn't that big of a deal because my makeup honestly still looks flawless like I haven't 
haven't even touched it. So yes, guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely let me know down in the comment section box below and tell me what you guys think. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm like, I want to be able to connect with you guys more. And sometimes, you know, YouTube can be so, like, strict on, like, how we connect. And I really do want to connect with you guys on a, like, everyday basis. So, please follow me on Instagram and, you know, DM me. I like to DM, like, all that stuff. I talk all the time. And... I want to talk to you guys more. It's just really hard to do that through YouTube all the time because everything has to be about something. And sometimes it don't even have to be about anything. We could just talk. I want to be here all the time for you guys and let you guys know how much I appreciate you guys. So definitely follow me on Instagram and let's chat on there.